Hello everyone, welcome to Artful Crafts. This is Kim. I am so excited to be a part of the Hardy Creations um, with Rachel and Bella Crafts and Edith of um, Scrapbooking with me and her daughter Melina are all hosting this and um, we've got 15 days of daily creators that are doing prompts and creating something from those prompts. Today is the 12th, so I will be creating, uh, well, my prompt is layer, and I'll be creating something that's layered. But first, I wanted to show you some of the pages of the kit. It's absolutely pretty. It's um, full of spring and um, full of inspiration. I love it, and it is all about crafting. And it says, Wonderful are your words. My soul knows it very well. Works. I'm sorry. Not words. Look. Just pretty. It's got the photography. Um, and it says, We are all the work of your hands. I'm just doing a quick flip through because I believe you may have already seen these, but for people that haven't, and it says, he has made everything beautiful in its time. Lots of beautiful pages. And it says, created with a purpose. Plenty of journaling room and just, just beautiful pages. And it says, um, for God so loved the world. And all three of these designers have kits, and they blend so beautifully together. I love this. I this, love that pink typewriter. Wish I could find one. But I didn't show the backs, because like I said, uh-oh, that's a blank one. That's probably a double. But they're just beautiful. And that's some of the ephemera. There's lots and lots of ephemera pages. So, yeah, go check them out. All of um, the links will be down below in the description box. So, let's get crafting. I'm going to be using layers. Um, and I wanted to create a tag and a pocket that are layered that can go on your um, journal page. So this one was eight and a half by 11 page that I just cut into um, like little tags. And over to the right of my, I have, and I have just such a little narrow area to work with. I've got most of my little supplies over here. So I was thinking, and I just get grab stuff and just lay it down. As I go, I really don't have anything planned. I just kind of got some things together that would um, maybe I'll flow together. And you can actually write on the back of that if you'd like to. Okay, so first of all, I just want to take some um, gathered twigs and just kind of lightly go over it because that I add just, you know, just another little element of the layering process. And it's mainly I'm just getting these edges. And if it happens to catch a little bit, that's okay too. Just not wanting those white edges to be showing. So I really didn't um, even go around the corners really. Okay, so I will take some um, fabric glue. And I have my bottle over here if this is working. I probably should have layered, I mean layered, <laughs> to grab some more. Let me just get this one out. It's a brand new bottle. And that will be a lot easier. And I'll just run a little dab here because I'm going to sew this around the edges with, um, I think I'll use a dark, probably a black, um, because I like the look, I like the look of 
the contrast. I'm trying to get these to where they will lay together good. So I think I do corner to corner. And then maybe right here, make sure that's corner to corner. Yes. I believe that may be straight. And just push that on in. And it, this is crooked a little bit. Let me work that a little bit out of there. I'm not worried about this, but I am worried about that. And that looks pretty good. So I will take this and just trim this excess off. Okay, and I'll just go sew around the corners real quick. Okay, I may want to use this. I'm not, like I said, I'm not real sure exactly what I want to do. I'll just kind of place things and play with it. I don't want to cover um, the print by any means up because it's beautifully detailed. And I really like it. This will be too wide because I just want to layer things. And just add interest. I think it would be okay maybe like this. So I will try to get this as straight as I can. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to go with the two. This side's pretty straight. Let me see if I can get this a little bit better. Straightened up. Without cutting too much off. And I'm deciding if I'd like to put this on, um, because it has a rose in it. It kind of goes with that. I thought that might be pretty and just do some layering and texture. So I think. Let me see where this little fabric is. And let me go back over. Just like this. Like I said, just getting that right off of those edges. And this is also good to do if you're not a really good straight cutter. And I'm not, so... But I wanted to add maybe a little bit of this to bring this rose out. Let me see if I like this, because I may not. I about cutting it down just a little bit um let's see if i can find my scissors maybe just going around it like fussy cutting it just a little bit or something i don't like that square rough edge i think i just kind of fussy cut around here also better.
I'm gonna do it like that better. Okay, so we can go ahead and start gluing things down because I'm okay with this. And I'll use the fabric glue. And you don't need a whole bunch. It doesn't take much at all. Make sure I've got this going the correct way. Okay, and then I can put her, I forgot how I had it. <laughs> Let's put her down. Like in the middle, or semi in the middle. She got that little glue, that wool. Since we're gluing this has fabric, I'll just use this. Push that down just for a little bit, sort of hold. And I have to go back and put a little bit more right there. It is not wanting to stick well. Okay, so I've got these fussy cuts, and I'm thinking maybe I should wait on these and let's trim this out a little bit. We can actually use this to go around. I think I'll just use this little part if I can cut it like I'd like. This is just some material that has some beautiful embroidery on it. And I don't want to cut that flower, so I think I will go around. Let's see, this way. I'm hoping I don't get too much of it off. And just fussy cut right in through here. Some of that netting off. Not hard to get all of it, but just a little bit. Just to shape it, because you're not really going, it'll, the designs of your paper will show through it, but I like to get the extra off just a little bit. Okay, hopefully I'm get into the Part. Let's see. I do want her little basket showing where she's threading stuff, so maybe like this. And I'm wondering if maybe I need to put something up in this corner. I'm kind of liking that. So well, let's do that also. Now we'll get around here. Let me cut this bigger piece off. Okay, let's see. And try not to cut into that fat uh, flower, the embroidery. I'll go take some more extra off of this. Here looks kind of rugged. Let me try to clean that up just a little bit. Uh-oh. 
Okay. Let's see. Um, let me see how I want to place this. Okay, you can still see some of the rows. So I think that's ready, and I think I'll leave it like that. You could even also trim out just around here, but I'm not going to do that. And I, I like this because I think it goes with the... Um, make sure I have the right side. Okay, I do. And then I'll just put a little glue on here. And I'll just... What I do, ugh, that was a blob. What I do is just go around like this and put very little around here because you don't want it to just come be kind of, it leaves kind of a satiny finish sometimes. And you don't want it to look like that. Okay, I can even bring this out a little bit. With the basket showing, so we got that. Okay, and then on this one, I have to remember how I had it. <laughs> and then again, I'm just putting the glue just lightly around there so we don't have that little sheen to it. And I like that you can still see like the basket and then the floral. On the paper. And this still doesn't want to stick down. Let me put just a little bit more glue. We don't want our edges sticking up. Alright, we've got that. So, I'm not quite finished with this, but I want to make sure that I get this completed. And that if I put something on the bottom, it will have room to fit and it doesn't look like it will. So, we may have to use this pocket somewhere else and just kind of clip this. Because I don't want it to going there, but I did want to decorate a pocket with you guys so you could see how you can decorate them. Okay, let's see. Um, wanted to use a really pretty of this, and I think it would look pretty hanging. You can hang the little page down and have it hanging off like that. And I usually like to try to make the dangles right through here. That way, you can cut off the excess on the either side, but you won't have, like, it being, like, way over here. You, you know what I'm saying? So, it'll kind of be equal in the middle. So, I'll put that down. Because even if this pocket goes on, like, a lower area of your page, it'll be okay for that to stick out. It'll look actually be pretty. And I'll scoot this over just a little because oh, I don't want, like I said, that area to be not looking good. And I'll let that dry just a little bit before I um, cut that down. And then we can go ahead and put this on. And you can, you can use hot glue also. And 
can see I have this rose over there, but not really over there. So I'll just bring that forward just a little bit. And then when you trim it off, it'll out of a rose here and a rose here to be kind of even looking. Okay, so I have this. Mm, this would really fancy it up. I think we'll put some of this little detail on it. See if I can cut right through here. Sometimes that's hard to see. Just go right here, cut this off, and then this off, and then right through here. And also, this little dangle, I do not like that, so I'm going to snip that. See how that's kind of like that? I don't like that, and I'm kind of picky about that kind of stuff, so I like to go back and just trim that off a little bit. And it looks pretty even, see? You've got the right here so it looks pretty even um this this one kind of needs to go like that because it, it's okay i'm not gonna be that picky about it okay and then we've got the thread and then a hoop that i thought was real cute and i'm actually thinking about this is a, a light pink i mean a light green maybe bringing some of this into it that would even give it even more layer I think I'll do that because there is this, oh, I'm sorry, this really pretty green um, in this kit. And I think this will go really well with it. So I'll pop that on and cut me some little lace right here. I use my other scissors with that glue. These are my fabric scissors. I have to clean that off. Okay, and I said we were going to put this down. And I believe I will use my hot glue for this. that may be too much but I think it would go well so I think I'll add this also and this will go with that and what I'm going to do is I will use this as a pocket I will just go back and add some little um, lace right here on the sides and that way when I glue it down you'll still have all of this but it'll be just a little bit more added, so not a problem. I didn't even check it before I started filming, and that's okay. That just goes to show you that you can always fix something. Even when you make a mistake, it's fixable, usually. But you can always redo it, so you, it can be fixed. <laughs> hmm. And if not, that would have been okay because I would have used this pocket somewhere else and just made another one. But I think a bit of some little stretchy lace will fit that on the sides. Now I just need to see how I want it this way or this way. Or maybe even this way. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. So we'll just add some glue, like I did before on the other one. Just on those bigger parts and right through just a little tiny bit on this area. Just barely touching it.
and we can add that in and off a little bit. That'll be fine. Okay, and I do think I want this here, so I'll go around those edges just a little bit. Didn't get. And so just adding that makes that graphic pop. Or digital. Graphic. Whatever you like to call it. I call it both sometimes. I really love this kit about crafting and how we're made for a purpose. Just Great idea, beautiful kit. Okay, let's see what else. I have this, and I'm thinking maybe I'd like that right here. So, I think I'm pretty finished with this, except I wanted to add some of that stretchy lace. I'll have to go back and find some. I have a whole lot of this. I think that'll be okay. I can just add that to it um, from the back side, even. I have it right here. Let me just grab a little bit of it. And let's see how we'll fix this. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do to fix this is just flip it on the back and get some glue and put this stretchy. And I may even have to go back and do something else to it. I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to put it like this. Okay, and I will probably cut this off right through here. I don't cut these off. Uh oh, I almost cut that off. I'm get it straight. I can go back too. So I think this will do and it will be on there. And yes, that'll work because I can glue it right through here. And that will be fine. I believe I put this on backwards. I did. So let's just swap this real quick. See, so gotta give it the stretch we need to put that in there. Huh, okay. I didn't know I could do that. So you learn something too. And I'll stick this down just a little bit with a little teeny, itty, itty, teeny bit. Okay. Right there. And I've got some little green ribbon. If I can find it. It will look pretty with that. We can act like I'm getting glue all over my fingers now. <laughs> and we can act like it was just tied with this little bow. Look how sweet. That's what we'll do with this. Uh oh. I'll play with that in just a minute. I want to go back around this. Okay, we got that. And I'll do 
this right here. And if I can find my regular glue. Well, no, I better use fabric because it's got a little bit of fabric right through there and I want it to stay on it. Put a little bit of glue on there. I'm going to place it right here. Then, this little bitty bow. Right here. I even want to cut it down just a little bit smaller. So we can see that print. And then, let's see. I'm going to use a tad bit of hot glue. To attach this to. Maybe. Okay. May even want to cut that down just a little bit more. Um, little trim on there, or even this, let me see, that would even be pretty, and you could even layer some little flat back pearls on there, but then that might be not showing that really well, let's see what this looks like. I had some of this already open. Yes, I like that. We will try this. Just use my hot glue since it's a little bit quicker. I think it'll be okay. And I don't have anything dangling down because like I said, I want it to fit into a pocket. And I believe that will be great once I get it all down. And this is stretchy, so yeah, that'll work out good, I think. So, to top it all off, I want to put a bow right here. So, I'm just going to put this here. And you can also put one of the little, I'm not sure what it's called. I don't know why I can never remember the name of those sometimes. <laughs> but I think I'll use this because I don't have any of the um, pink or green seam binding, which would be really pretty. So I'll just use this and put it through. And I do want to make a bow. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I may even. Yeah, no. I'll probably cut this down just a little bit. I do want it a big bow, but maybe not that big. We'll see. Okay. 
Okay, and I wanted something else. I have, yes, this. Maybe I want to put a pretty, look at this button. It is Mother of Pearl, but it's like a pinkish color. It is absolutely beautiful. I love this, and then it has some little silver detail. And I think I'll put that there, and I'm just going to use some hot glue and place that there. And then I have, I thought this was really cute because she is doing some um, needlework. Look at these little needlework um, charm, the little scissors. So I want to place this on here also. I just thought that this was just so cute. So I'll just stick this right in through here and see how that hangs. I may have to place it somewhere else. And I just stuck that on with a little ball pen. That is so precious. I love it. So, so cute. So yeah, that is what she looks like. And I'm thinking I need a little green bow on here. Just to let that green pop a little bit. Let me see what it looks like. Definitely. I'm really into bows right now. I think they're beautiful. Well, I've always liked hearts and bows. This looks like okay yeah I like that it's very cute so I will put this a little dot here in the middle and place this right there there we go I love the way it turned out. I'm not sure. I think that's all that it needs. But yeah, that is what I consider layering. And I think we've done a pretty good job at creating a pocket, a layered pocket, and a tag. So, anyway, I love it. I like the way it turned out. I think it goes beautiful with this kit. And, guys, I really, really appreciate you um, taking the time out and watching this. And I hope you have just a great time and I have in, in, are enjoying the um, collaboration. There's lots of, to um, learn, so please go check out everyone's um, uh, YouTube and videos, and you'll definitely learn something. Um, so, thank you guys again. Thank you guys for uh, the collaboration and inviting me. I really appreciate it. And you guys have a great day or night.